Did you get the call? You about the, tomorrow. No, I'm, I'm talking about the trip to uh, to Europe. Oh, yes, we got the call. We're supposed to leave here November the 5th. Maybe we could go a little, a little earlier. He wants us to come a little earlier. Then how long will you be gone? Possibly five or six days. Yeah, well, well but these trips are getting longer and longer. And then uh, you'll be gone over Sunday, won't you? Then it will be longer than five days. <laughs> Come on, two well, Sundays. you know, I'm talking about this actual singing, but I didn't include the traveling. So I don't know. No, you know, it always is a question about, like the church, you know, like you directing uh, the singing, sort of, you know, more or less kind of being there with me some of the time, you know. We'll be back. I'll get the, the service ready. I mean, the songs ready as to the songs, and then someone can just conduct them. And then one Sunday, I don't think it'd be too bad. I could get somebody else to do it. It isn't that. It's just that no one can really take your place with the ministry that you're doing. Nobody else can really do it like you do it. And uh, I'll, I'll be glad when the time comes that our ministry can be together as a husband and wife team more than, you know, you and uh, your sister's team. You want eggs with your sausage? No, no, I just take some toast. Give me the bread, I'll put it in here. I don't, I don't want it. You know, Frank, this has been my life dream to go abroad. This has been from a childhood day. I dreamed of being a great singer and singing over in Europe. And, and now that the chance has come to just stop and, you know, and, and, and don't uh, be able to, to fulfill my dream when it is really coming into reality, it would be quite a letdown to me. And maybe after I've gone over there and see what it's actually like, then maybe I can really come into what you really want me to do in your, in your ministry. Am I getting this over to you? Yeah. <laughs>